Hi. Hallo. Ah, so. Servus, Monim. Ähm, ich habe gerade erfahren, dass ich nur 20 Minuten habe, habe ich irgendwie selber wahrscheinlich verpeilt. Das ist auf eine Stunde angelegt, das heißt, ähm, <lacht> wir müssen echt ein bisschen, äh, ein bisschen durch, äh, durchpushen. Ähm, I switch now to English because the slides are in English and I don't want to screw up your brain. So um, now English, um, a view in the kitchen, that's the topic. Um, first is ag 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 um, the agenda, something about me, something about the company, um, the general advertising part and some numbers and KPIs. I will go through this very quickly. And um, the cooking, uh, what has been cooked over the last month at sixth. So, um, so that's me. Everyone just calls me JP, saves a lot of time. Um, Yes, you find me in the internet with a JPD. Um, I work in the fields of sales, marketing, and UX, and if you ever don't know what the hell you're doing, just make a Venn diagram. It really gets stuff across. And um, I started at six last year, and I focused on the digital strategy. So I take care of the online channels, development, user experience, technology stuff, but I'm also involved in um, strategic stuff like the overall digital transformation and also branding topics. So um, that's me. Now something about the company. You all know Sixth, I skipped this. Um, we are the <laughs> largest rental company in Germany, third largest in Europe, and fifth uh, largest in, in the world. And we're closing in. I think it's very important to know for you that um, our biggest market at the moment we are focusing is US, and we have a market share of, I think, 1%. But we generate there as much as revenue as in Germany. So there's a big room to grow. We have a lot of cars all over the world. We have um, a big fleet with premium cars, meaning Audi, Mercedes, BMW, and that's something that differs us from our competitors. And yes, we have a lot of rental locations worldwide. Um, here you can see um, our products. In this matrix, we cover each aspect of mobility. If you want to use a car for five minutes, if you want to stay in the city, like drive now, um, that's a product, or if you want to rent it, you use the six rent a car, or if you want to lease it, or you want to own it. So we have each, we have every product for your need, and we cover that the whole bandwidth of, of mobility. That's something that's really unique for, for rental car companies. And it's also somewhere between um, travel and automotive. So really, really interesting fields to work. Here's some financial fi uh, figures. We are doing really good. You can see the revenue growth and the EBIT. I started 2015, you see the impact. <laughs> um, I can't show you the numbers, the real numbers of our online channels, right? The, the, I just only, uh, I'm allowed to tell you the growth. So, uh, but we are the biggest uh, sales channels. We have 60% share of the, of the sales, so you can, um, yeah, you can think how much money this is. Um, I can tell you that it's um, a three digits billion each quarter, and we have a strong and robust growth, 30% in total, and uh, yeah, absolutely amazing, 55% um, in mobile. Mobile means apps, not responsive websites, just apps. So I think we're doing a great job, and we are also funny. I think you know um, Mrs. Neuland. Uh, wanna get, you want a new haircut, uh, rent yourself a convertible. Um, this has been our employee of the month last year, Mr. Wieselski. He's the, um, yeah, the leader of the train workers uh, union, and he set his people on strike. And we've been running out of cars because everyone needed a car. So thanks, Mr. Wieselski. Um, you might know this meme from last year. Um, yeah, we are also funny and fast. We can adapt everything. This is a very recent one, the Gauland. Um, Yes, this one went very fast viral with a spending of 200 euros on Facebook. We got a brand awareness. It was just amazing. So, and that's the uh, one video for you. I hope now the tethering works. Schleichwerbung.
imagine um, I showed you the history, the company, the products, the awesome marketing, the big growth. Now think of the website. Imagine the website of this company. So when I first got into touch with uh, Mr. Konstantin Six in December 2014, this was my first impression of the digital world of, of Six, and I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, I, I, I had total different um, expectations of the brand. So, and when I dug deeper, I saw there's a mess, like, of applications and designs. Everything is how, somehow sixed and orange, but it's, it's not my expectation level, what I had. So, and I think there are many reasons why this could be your website, working in a big corporation, like, could be like you don't have enough resources, you have different, um, different uh, methods, you have uh, wrong stakeholders, you have the wrong people, you have the wrong mindset, you don't have money, whatever. There are so many reasons and I think internet is a very, internet is a very fast thing and it's very likely to fail. And I've been working now for huge corporations over seven years and what they all have in common, like if you work for them, it's like it feels like you're decorating the crack house. It's really like, imagine an old shabby house. You have to fix some, something every day. You have to fix the roof, you have to build new walls, you have to clean up the basement, you have to install something new. And if you decide to paint it, like the, only the outside of the, of, of the walls, you, it's very likely that you run out of um, paint or the, the chosen paint is not fancy anymore if you come to the backside of the house. So what do you do? with this old shabby house. What we did, we built a bubble next to the crack house. And inside that bubble, we, built a, we put a, a strong but small team uh, with a mixture of internal guys and external guys. Um, it's just six guys. And we had a clear vision. We wanted to build a high converting booking engine that's state of the art. Should be dynamic, should be uh, yeah, personalization in all steps, should be optimized for mobile international use cases for the 105 countries. Um, and it should be a modern technology uh, setup, like flexible, scale, high performance. And um, we decided to go for a single page application with uh, React.js and uh, Node.js in the middleware. So really fancy um, setup. And it was like really experiment what's going on here, but uh, we were so decisive. Uh, so uh, determined to do something great and uh, yeah, we just started and was outside of the crack house. We were not in the real organization of maintaining the whole tanker. So what's cooking now? I think how much time is left? Five, five minutes? Wow. Ah, okay. <laughs> we're good in time. So what's cooking? I show you now the project. Um, first, we started uh, with a lot of business requirements like from online marketing, pricing, yield management, yada, yada, yada. Um, I started with some scribbles. Um, then a designer um, delivered us some desktop designs. Not really mobile first, but he was a great designer. And <laughs> but for the real crucial part, we started with mobile first prototypes in Xure. So, uh, and, and of course, everywhere we had a lot of ideas and we were busy baking stuff together in this small team. And then I talked, uh, while we're doing and we're busy baking, I talked to Konstantin Sixt. And he, he said to me in his very user-centered or customer-centered um, mindset, when he thinks of a website, he thinks of a person sitting in front of you and helping you. And I was like, okay, something like this. This should be your website. Very, really, really helping you to fill, fulfill your needs. Now, back to the old one. If this is a person, you want to talk to her? No, she throws at you six questions at a time, and I think she's also a bit scary. So we decided to start from scratch. And uh, enough of the slides, now the application. That was YouTube random. So I have to reload. So this is the website. Um, as you can see, we start with some videos. You might know this from um, Airbnb. Um, a clean entry to the application, like no six questions at a time. Um, something we call the uh, um, feel-good area. We have some benefits and marketing video. 
that's my favorite part on the website on the homepage. Just like this, and this is real stuff from our Instagram users from US, and we mix it with um, some ratings and reviews. It really gives uh, gives a great impression of uh, what people do with our cars, and it's not faked. It's real stuff from our users. And below that, there's just um, yeah some some small footer, some advertising for the mobile stuff and um, the apps, and that's it. So it's a very clean landing page. And if you dive into the funnel, silence. You just you focus on the funnel. So what is your, what you're asked to do? Where do you want to pick up your car? Let's go for Miami. So I now take the airport. Select your pickup date. Next question. OK. Now I'm offered the times. And because I know the station and the date, I can show you only the times that are available. It's a big station, so it's uh, open 24 seven. But by this, doing by this, we avoid error messages. Because we guide the people through the funnel. Yes, I want to return the car to the pickup location. Select the return date. Drop it here. And then we come to tethering, yeah, to the offers page. And here are the cars. Um, here I can edit my data. I see the cars. It's not, it's not really rocket science, you know, but for six it has been a great step. And I have some filters. You can show you a nice Easter egg if you filter too much. For example, like this. We give you a DeLorean. Because <laughs> I don't want to give you zero cars. I always I want to give you some, some result. And so also inside the Easter egg, there are Easter eggs, like Marty and Doc, Gullwing doors, hoverboards, flux capacitor, time machine. Integrated transmission, everything is included. Um, what is really cool about this page that it's it doesn't look like rocket science, but there's a lot under um, yeah a lot um, in the in the in the middleware and in the back end. For example, this ascending, descending, and most popular. This can be done the most popular on a station level. Now imagine 2,000 stations. This ne has never been possible. So we can set the most popular on a on a really, make it really, really flexible. So I take now a car. Oh, the page is, of course, responsive. Um, now I can choose my payment method, add some extras. I have now, from here, I have a, a sticky bar with a call to action. I get the total price, and that's the funnel. Uh, the end of the funnel is just uh, um, the details with some Nice elements like credit card detection, not working now. <laughs> and, and that's basically it. And we launched this application, and because this was built with a React.js and a Node.js in the middleware, we can iterate so fast. And what I like so much about this application is that it really makes, makes clear the difference between design and UX. This is user experience. This is really when you guide the funnel and you avoid error messages, this pays off for the brand later. We're shaping the brand awareness, brand experience. So, um, how did we do it? Um, back to the slides, final slides. Five minutes now? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Schluck Wasser. The recipe, difficult to say because I don't want to tell you use this method, use Scrum, use Kanban, use this tool. I don't know because every product, every process, every company, every setup is different. So I think it's very hard to give you an advice. But what I can tell you is something that is really clear to me now what is the best team to do it. You build a bubble. Should be a small team. Should be like I said before, um, a mixture of internal guys and external guys. <coughs> team diversity is very important regarding the the mindset of the people, the culture, and education. Question everything. Kill your darlings. Get out of your comfort zone. What I mean by this is like when I showed this guide of funnel for the first time to my colleagues. They were like, oh my God, this is totally different to what we have. I don't feel comfortable. Let's do it. So that's the attitude you need. You know, question it. Kill your darlings. Disrupt yourself. And that's something 
that's not only important for startups, it's also important for bigger, huge corporations to keep this mentality of a, of a startup and this entrepreneurship to stay successful. And this could be the end, but it's not. It's just now we're facing the main course, the digital strategy. This project has only been um, one aspect of the overall strategy. Now the real works, uh, work begins, like how do you apply the spirit of the bubble on a whole organization? That's the challenge. A small bubble is never a problem. How do you get people motivated to do it? The whole, I'm talking about 100 people. So what do we do? We re reorganize the whole online department. We put people into um, a modern matrix organization with a clear ownership. And we move the front-end developers into our, our, our organization. And yeah, IT takes care of the shitty back-end, the legacy stuff. <laughs> uh, we're getting started with Scrum or Kanban, depends on um, the project and the team size. It's nothing really, really rocket science, but f we're coming from shitstorm. And sh now it's from shitstorm to Scrum, it's a big, a big process for people. As I said, we introduced a new modern technology stack, the single page application uh, and the middleware, which allows us to iterate very fast and be flexible and scalable. Um, IT backend also goes into the cloud. Um, we're building the next generation of websites and apps. I mean, feature-wise and um, technical, uh, technically, um, of course. And you remember the mess? This one, we're creating a 360 degree online style guide. I don't want to live with a mess anymore and now we take care of all the online channels like websites, apps, mailings, banners, everything, every touch point, digital touch point should be in one language. And now this is really a sneak preview for you. I show you the world of tomorrow. Um, the style guide is at the moment in, uh, in progress and this is how six is going to look next year. We have uh, from left to right, we have the websites, we have uh, the apps and the mailing. And this is getting back to the 16 DNA. Very strong, not really like, oh, we have to be Airbnb or we have to be Europcar, whatever. It's like really back to the brand. <coughs> strong, solid and um, confident. So, and everything, yeah, I, I really like it. Really like it. And this will be rolled out ne next year. So this is not the end, this is now the beginning for us. And that's the end of the presentation, thanks. <laughs>